Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to talk about copying and pasting entities. Here we have a curved connector, for example. To copy this item to the pointwise clipboard, simply select it and do one of the following. You can either use the menu system and go to Edit, Copy, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts and push down the keys Control and C for Copy. That takes care of copying, but what about pasting? Again, you have two options. Either use the edit menu and select paste, or use the keyboard shortcut key. Control V as in Victor. Both of those options bring up a fourth tab called the paste tab. Now note that there are several options here. The most popular are translate, scale, stretch, rotate, mirror, etc. And we have some specialty options here as well. With this connector, we're gonna demonstrate the translate option, so push translate. Now, note that it created a copy and it offset it a little bit. That's because my offset vector uh, from a previous exercise had 0, 30, 0. That means that the copy was actually pasted about 30 units in the Y direction. Now, I can change that by hand. Let's type in 0, 20, and 0 and push Enter. Note that it reduced the distance that it pasted it. Right now, it's showing it drawn in yellow. That means that it is only temporary. If I were to push the Cancel button, this temporarily pasted version would disappear. If I were to push OK, which I'm going to do right now, it becomes permanent. Now, when you push OK for the first time, it takes you back to that special paste tab. This is where you typically just push OK again. And note that we now have two connectors offset by this distance here. The paste options work on both domains and blocks. I happen to have a domain that is pre-made. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm going to isolate that layer. And there we have our domain. So step one is to select your domain, and I'm just going to use the menus for this. Edit, copy, I'll just go to edit, paste. Note that that brings up the fourth paste tab. It has all the options. Let's go with rotate, okay? Now, as you can see, it automatically put all this information in. Let's start from scratch. Uh, I put in the rotation angle here. Now, I'm going to just start with 90 degrees. Uh, for the axis selection, I'm going to select this point up here at the top left. All right. Now, point-wise, went ahead and already rotated at 90 degrees. Let's say I want to go 180 degrees. And there we see that the domain was rotated 180 degrees about this top left point. Again, it's yellow. That means it's temporary. If I push OK and then push OK again, it becomes a permanent copy. Now, these same copy and paste procedures are available for blocks as well. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.